currently 76 days out from my next competition. This one will be in New Jersey. So this will be a pro qualifier. So if I get top two in my high class, then I will get my pro card. So this will be a vlog portion of the Road to Pro series. I'm thinking of doing one vlog video per week until I'm about 30 days out. Then I'll be doing daily vlogs for you guys just to see, show you the details of prep. And I think it's gonna be really fun for myself just to look back on. But uh, today we just did morning, morning check-ins as you saw. Um, really lean already and this is my peak bulk. So this is like the fattest I'm gonna be. And I'll just be leaning out as time goes on from today. So cleaning up the diet even more, even though the bulking diet was already very clean, it was a, it was a clean bulk. I'm gonna do a hair tutorial for you guys. I get a surprising amount of people asking me how I do my hair. Yeah, I actually use a blow dryer and some hairspray, so let's get it. Yeah. Blow dry time. All right, just finished blow drying my hair, and all I do is I just use this super strong hairspray. Got to be glued, this one. And what I do is I hang my head upside down like this. Like this. So then I can coat my hair evenly, and I just give it a spray. All over like that. And then I throw it to the side. Of course I do have to touch it up a little bit, but then it gives it that cool, like natural kind of wavy look. Yeah, so that's how I do it. And then I for the back, I'm actually growing out the back a little bit. I use a little bit of gel. This is strictly curls, because my when my hair gets longer it curls in the back. And then I just kind of put it in the back there just to kind of match the top. And that's it. So I already had my first meal before my shower and it was just like a, it was like a protein shake. And now we're having another protein shake from Transparent Labs. New sponsor. As you guys know, I was with Blue Star Nutraceuticals for, for like four years. It was the only supplement company I was with. I was, I've been to a bunch of different clothing companies but supplement companies, only one. So this is a new change. I was just ready for something new. Um, Blue Star didn't really have what I wanted. They only had, I only took their pre-workout, but they didn't have any protein actually. They've been out of stock for a long time. So I needed protein. This is like the most important thing in my diet for, this, for the bulk and also for the cut. So Transparent Labs contacted me and they sent me a bunch of product. Um, this is our protein. This is the peanut butter flavor, but they have a bunch of good flavors. <clears throat> peanut butter, they have like a sugar cookie flavor, chocolate chip, uh, oatmeal cookie flavor, so really good protein. And the, the main thing about this company is it's really clean. So um, probably the cleanest uh, supplements you can take in the industry today. So literally the ingredients are just grass-fed whey protein, isolate, and peanut flour, and that's about it <laughs> and it tastes really good too surprisingly so I've been taking the pre-workout too and I just feel way better taking it so moving on to transparent labs we're currently creating a, a contract just a, a deal for uh, monthly deliverables and stuff like that but I'm really excited for this new chapter with this supplement company and the code would be code Jason so when I start I haven't officially started working with them yet but maybe by the time this video is out or later you can start using code Jason if you want to get a discount on this awesome stuff. So I whipped out my Canon G7X Mark II and I kind of forgot I had it. I was about to get a new camera. Well, I still might get it. I was thinking of getting the Osmo Pocket 3, but it's out of stock everywhere. So you have to you have to order it and it takes about a month to get here and it's like 700 bucks. I had this camera just laying in my drawer. Got it back in 20, 2020. But this camera came out in 2016. But I'm just curious if you guys like the image quality and you know if it works for the vlog. Because I'll probably just keep using this camera if it works good enough. So let me know in the comments. Today I am hitting back. Janelle's hitting legs. Right, Janelle? Yeah. I'm gonna be taking this. 
pre-workout from Transfer Labs. Bulk. This one has 250 milligrams of caffeine and a lot of beta alanine, which is good. There's two different kinds of pre-workout that I take, and I'm taking this one today because it has less caffeine because I'm doing a back workout. If I were to do a leg workout, I would take this one because it has 325 milligrams of caffeine. That's actually the most caffeine I've ever seen in a pre-workout I've ever taken. Of course, I do know some that have like 400, but it's still quite a bit. So yeah, we're going with this today. Uh oh. No. Why are you recording me? The song. She's, oh. I'm feeling it. Yep. Doubt the Canon Rebel T8i. This is not a vlogging um, lens. This is a 50 millimeter that doesn't adjust. So, I'm setting up the tripod and I'll probably do more voiceover for today's workout. Starting the workout off with some pull ups. Sometimes I do weighted pull ups with the chain, with the belt chain. But I'm just doing body weight here, aiming for about 12 reps. The whole workout, we are focusing on slowly centric, three seconds down or longer, then pause at the bottom in the stretch position, and then do the, the rep. Aiming for about 12 reps here, four sets. The whole workout will be about four sets of about 10 to, 10 to 15, roughly. Really good pump. Just taking off the pump cover here. I like pull-ups, they just get the entire back. That's why I like to start with those. And I think it's just important to be able to carry your own body weight. So I always make sure I can be able to, you know, do some pull-ups, but strapping up right here, because I'm using these straps because for back, you know, usually your forearms are gonna be given out before your, your back does. So during this exercise, we're doing a single-armed lat pull-down. And as you can see, I'm kind of crossing, a, letting it cross my body. The, the more across it goes, the bigger stretch you get in your lat. Hence why I don't really do a whole lot of wide grip stuff. I prefer close grip. There's Janelle doing some lunges. Lunges are the best leg exercise, hands down, in my opinion. So I think it should be a staple in every leg workout. But yeah, going back to this back exercise, I'm just doing a different grip here. So this is the inside grip. Just another way of getting the lats. Moving on to cable row. As you can see, I'm going really slow on the way down. I'm not like jerking the weight up or anything like that. But I'm almost, I'm letting the weight pull me in a little bit to get a good stretch in the lats. There's another angle. Finishing off the back workout with lat pullover really good finisher and as you can see as I said earlier really good stretch at the top I'm letting the weight pull my arms up and as you can see even the lats you can see the striations and the cuts if I were to choose only one bicep exercise out of any exercise that exists I would choose incline curls in fact this is pretty much the only bicep exercise I do because it's so effective just because, as I said, there's good stretch and then there's tension through the whole entire rep. And what I'm doing here is I'm doing uh, a set of 10 with the 35 pound dumbbells, and then I drop down to the 20s and do another set of 10. So I'm doing a drop set, and I'm doing this three times. It burns like crazy. I was still doing some lunges. It's basically her whole workout was lunges, which I think is actually a really good idea. I'm gonna help her take it off, and then while I'm holding it, might as well do some curls. Finishing off the biceps with this second exercise. I'm only doing two bicep exercises because I already hit my biceps a lot from my back workout, but I like this one because I actually lean back a little bit on it 
just so the weight can stretch it all the way to the bottom. It depends on however you position yourself on the machine, but I like to do it like this. And here we are doing some posing. Currently about 163 pounds, so the heaviest I've ever been while staying this lean as well. So pretty proud of my, the gains I've had over this bulk. Sipping on some post-workout creatine. The two supplements I'd recommend the most would be protein and creatine, and and pre-workout's really good too. But other than that, BCAs and stuff, I mean, kind of a waste of money to be honest. You get that from your normal diet, but a really good back workout. Um, the most important thing I learned during this bulk is the importance of the eccentric, really slow on the way down, and then a really good stretch. I've seen the most uh, growth from my technique and form from doing that. Really proud of the improvement I made in my back so far. I mean, in terms of density and and detail, I've always had that. But when it comes to width, kind of struggled with that in the past. But I think it was one of the biggest improvements I've made during this bulk was the taper, especially from the front. You can see the lats from the front side once they're developed enough. Um, and yeah, really proud of that, actually. So width of the back is super important for men's physique. Appreciate you watching to this point. Going to um, continue to do these vlogs once a week and as I get closer to the comp, maybe like a uh, daily vlog. So let me know if you like these and uh, I'll see you in the next one.